next one uh, is Second Life, and uh, it's, it's similar. We saw this, a lot of people actually, I mean, if you heard of World of Warcraft as well, they were uh, doing this. It's just to control like a 3D avatar. And uh, we saw some other people doing that. Actually, there was another group here at Ryerson, I think over at the DMC, that had initially tried some of this, and we decided that we might be able to do it better. And again, it was a good, uh, good experiment in figuring out how to, again, control gestures. So as you can see, Manny, what happens in this one is when you put your hand between your torso and your neck, it uh, gives your, you an area to, to work with. So if you go up in that area, you'll fly up. If you push your left hand or your right hand forward, you'll turn left or right. If you move your hands laterally outside the boxes, you'll go forward. Inside, you go backwards. Um, and then again, you can fly up or down. So what we thought about this all three of these programs we really thought were, could almost be uh, implemented like a tablet where you know the pen is sort of your mouse interface for most things that you know you, it doesn't have a special interface for it. but for the other things you can actually develop special gestures to and customize them yourself whatever you want it to be so we thought this would be a good alternative to people that might not be able to use keyboards or, or mouse all they need to do is use parts of their body to make 